Hello viewers, Captain Brierson here and welcome to another flight simulation video where today we are going to be flying from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia all the way over to Dubai using this Freeware Airbus A380. It's not as realistic as a payware aircraft but um, it'd be perfect for those who can't afford any payware aircraft nor, nor would they be bothered using payware aircraft indeed but but I but I like using both types of aircraft, both payware and uh, freeware. But it really depends which is the best version, though. Anyway, though we don't have much to get this aircraft started, so we'll just put in and we'll just put in the jetway now. Well, I did not have any intention of opening up that, nor did I have any intention of opening up the main exit door. I only added my only intention was to close this door here, and then there we go it's closed right so we'll go ahead and jump into the virtual cockpit we don't have much to get this aircraft ready only the only thing we have to do is turn on the fasten seatbelt sign and the no smoking sign and I only had to press shift M to turn on the to turn on the main power of the aircraft and then everything was started up for me already so uh, without further ado we are gonna go ahead and begin push back from the gate and we're also gonna fire up our four engines so there is a uh, engine four been started up. Or we could fire up all four of them. Yeah, we'll, we'll fire them all up at the uh, same time as each other. No harm in that. As there is what looks like another aircraft taking off is it just me or is there another runway in use I wonder okay so it looks like runway 14 is in use today or tonight well same thing really so we're just going to put the aircraft to a stop here. Stop the push back here. And then set altitude to uh, 310. Little check on the old uh, flight controls just to make sure they are working. And, uh, yep, they're working. So all we have to do is just turn here, go up here, take a right here, go down here, and then hang a left, and then we take off down for runway 14. Easy enough. Easy enough. So uh, we'll go ahead and begin taxi, set flaps for 1, and we'll go ahead and begin taxi. Fairly slow aircraft to get to get moving, but uh, ah well, it does get moving eventually though. And it uh, looks like there's not much action going on here at this at Malaysia International Airport tonight, is there? Not much in the least bit. Anyway, flaps are set for takeoff. Fasten seatbelt sign and no smoking sign are on. One thing, one thing I do have respect for uh, freeware aircraft is that they have better they have a better FPS than than the, than the payware stuff. That's because uh, it doesn't have as much good quality 
as a freeware as payware aircraft does but it's perfect for the but be perfect for those whose computers or PCs cannot handle payware products because the quality in them I'm also using this freeware version of Malaysia Sepang Airport, which is which is basically an extension of the original um, of the default um, Malaysia Sepang Airport. But what it basically does is that it adds some new stuff to the original one. For example, it adds a new terminal and adds some uh, new gates to it as well, making it as best as as best as it could for it to be the original airport while using the standard default FSX format For, forgot to turn on the uh, flight directors there but uh oh well that's on now anyway so not nothing to be worried about There is runway 14 just there. So after we uh, take off, we then make a left hand turn. Heading. Oh, oh no, I think I overshot. Yeah, I overshot the, um, the turn. Ah, damn. I'm going to have to go around. I'm going to have to um, circle around. That's what happens when I'm not paying attention. That happens. I was starting to think there for a minute that my GPS might have been set wrong there, but it looks like it wasn't. Now here we are on runway three to right. Oh, I thought we were using runway one four, but uh, I have a, again, though I don't know this airport very well, so um, I gotta pay more attention to my charts. Oh well, at least we'll be up in the air quickly now. So here we go, advancing throttles. And I thought for a minute my GPS was uh, set wrong or something like that, but no. Apparently I'm just not paying attention. Ah, uh, I must be tired or something. I'm not. I don't know. I honestly don't know, guys. I, whoa, that's my mic there went a bit crazy, but ah uh, oh well. Approaching 140 knots, V1, rotate. Now, pause the rate, gear up.
and flaps up and we can make an immediate left turn now to get on track now we just need to uh, throttle back on takeoff while holding at uh, 10 degrees we we'll also now put in the uh, heading to the to follow the route. We don't have VNAV or LNAV on this aircraft because it's a freeware. I don't think that tech that kind of technology can be implemented on freeware aircraft. Oh well. Anyway, we're on a steady climb now, so I'll go ahead and uh, input the information. into the CDU auto throttle is on there we go and the cockpit here of this um, Airbus A380 is based off the A321 just more extended if you know what I mean only difference is there's two extra engine engine lever levers here two extra engine switches and a load of more buttons up here and an FMC that's just displaying messages instead of not actually working we'll increase speed down to uh, 350 knots Okay, we are obviously going a bit too fast, so we need to bring down the speed a bit. Bring it down to about 330 knots, or 340 knots will be, will be just as fine. There we go. Well, here we are caught in turbulent air. Alright guys, as you can see, we are now at flight level 310. It is bucketing, bucketing down. It is, well, not so much, but there is thunder and lightning everywhere. As here we are flying over the sea. But the, I think it's the... It's not the Pacific. I'm not sure. Could be the Indian Ocean. I'm not sure. The, oh, I don't know what ocean I'm flying over. Google, I need your help. Oh my god. So ignorant, aren't I, guys? Don't know my geography very well. Anyway, we'll just open up uh, Google Maps. Anyway, I I managed. Okay, I found I'm I find I found out what sea I'm I'm in now. I am on the Andaman Sea, near the Bay of Bengal, Bengal, which will help, which will lead me to fly all the way over India. And then from there, it's strained into Dubai. So, pretty uh, simple uh, flight route, in uh, my opinion. Well, long, but uh, simple. Using a pretty simple aircraft. Easy to fly, doesn't require much expertise to um, operate this thing. Currently, we're maintaining a steady speed of uh, 350. 334 knots and uh, yeah it is pretty dark out here at the minute but uh, 
it should get bright by the time we reach uh, Dubai just like when we did that just like when I did that landing at uh, Amsterdam Schiphol Airport it was daytime by the time we got to Dubai so I bet you it could be daytime by the time we get to uh, Dubai as well okay I had a look at some of the I had a look at the uh, top-down view and we're just flying over a small little island down below us well we're just coming up to a small little island here so uh, yeah though everything's still pretty normal it's still nighttime here here in this part of the world so uh, yeah and uh, cruising altitude is uh, 310 as I said although I think I could climb higher but uh, no I'll stick with my assigned altitude anyway so um, we don't need to worry about it Rarely, though, do I get an opportunity to fly the Airbus A380, let alone the, the freeware version. But uh, I should probably do more flights with the freeware Airbus A380, even though it's very limited on features. But, uh, oh, well, still a very fun um, aircraft to fly regardless, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have passed these um, islands now that, that separates Malaysia from us. And for some strange reason, though, this menu bar here refuses to go um, all. It's not using the full length of the of the top bit of my uh, monitor here. But ah, well, that's nothing. That's not a big problem for me to worry about. As here we are, still flying in the pitch black night here in Asia, flying towards uh, Dubai. So now the next country we have to fly over now is India, and then once we uh, get to India, it'll be straight on. Then it'll be straight on from there to the Middle East. So uh, we're almost there to. Um, well, not that we're almost there. We still got a long way to go, but uh, we got this. Mo we got this big, massive ocean, open ocean up above, uh, below us. So uh, that way we be. So that way be able to enjoy the flight while I sit here in this cockpit and just enjoy the view down below. We've just entered a massive wave of uh, turbulence here, ladies and gentlemen. The airplane is rocking all over the place. But uh, luckily, though, the autopilot is doing its best trying to keep the aircraft stable. And, oh, again, the speed indicator. Oh, never mind. And the aircraft's over speeding again, so that can be fixed. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about the A380. Well, this freeware version of the A380 is that sometimes this speed indicator can all of a sudden glitch out of me and go to zero. But luckily, though, to fix this, I just uh, press the, um, I just reselect the aircraft again by going into uh, select aircraft, and then I just select the aircraft from there again. And that's it. The problem is solved then. Anyway, though, we're coming up towards our next waypoint. Oh, is the um, as the engine noise all of a sudden changed on me there for a minute, but oh well. We just passed our next waypoint as Biking, so we're just going to uh, put the heading into uh, 300 degrees. All right, looks like we've come out of the uh, terminals now, so we can turn off the uh, fasten seatbelt sign. There we go. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I think we are getting close to uh, India now. I think. I am honestly not too sure, but I just switched to the normal cockpit view. I think that's India over there. I'm not too sure, but. Uh, check the top down view. Well, we're not too far now from India, so 
once we uh, fly over India, as I said, once we fly over India, it'll be, it'll be on the home straight towards towards Dubai then. And uh, looking at the uh, GPS, we pass another waypoint by Dazzo. So I might as well just fix the heading. Make another slight change to the heading. Fly in a heading of 303. There we go. Alright, good news, guys. We are just now coming over. Well, we're just on the outskirts of India. So, uh, I can even see it clearly here cockpit as well and uh, while I was looking at uh, the land there I didn't cop my um, EFIS display here telling me that I was going off course so I guess I better pay that little bit more attention to my um, EFIS display We were flying over some big patches of clouds earlier on, but uh, yeah, it looks like those um, big forms of clouds are gone now. Anyway, we'll get back on the uh, heading of our original heading, which was about 300. Yeah, about 300 will do. We should be um, bang on perfect with the. GPS as we're approaching our next waypoint, which is Guras. So, uh, yeah. Still a pretty smooth flight, no problems, apart from that uh, bit of turbulence that was encountered earlier on, but other than that, though, no major problems whatsoever. Pretty nice view of uh, India down below us, as there is lightning striking all over the place, left, right, and center down below us, but, uh, we're well below, um, we're well above the thunderstorms anyway, so we don't need to worry about it as, as there is a cloud just underneath us, which is pretty cool. I say we could climb higher if we wanted to, but no. The original assigned altitude in the flight plan was to climb about 310, 31,000 feet, so we're going to stay at 31,000 feet. That's a big bolt of lightning there right ahead of us. I wonder if I can get a screenshot. Or maybe a bolt of lightning striking the ground. Or maybe striking at each other in the clouds there. Well, I should probably get the... I should probably turn on the uh, seatbelt sign. Because we might be expecting turbulence as we're flying through these clouds. Do we get a bit of turbulence going? Might. Usually when I fly inside one of these clouds, that's when the turbulence hit. And here we go. Here comes the turbulence. Speed, speed indicator has gone completely crazy because we're in turbulence. And I'm going to turn off auto throttle. And I'm going to control the power from here. Usually when I'm flying in turbulence, I notice when I'm flying in turbulence on this aircraft, that's when the speed indicator goes crazy. All 
Alright, well that didn't last long, and a bit of the audio in the uh, cockpit of this A380 cut it out a bit, but uh, other than that though, um, all is good, all is good. Oh, the amount of stuttering on this cockpit. If only I had a 44 hertz monitor, and the more louder noise on the A380 comes back. In the cockpit, of course. Just had a look on the uh, outside view now, and I don't know if I'm hearing another aircraft nearby or what. Oh yeah, I I did all right. It is a Airbus A330. Let's see, is it a company aircraft? No, it's an Air France aircraft. I'm just coming right in front of it now. Ah, there's me right there. I'm just accelerating on ahead of the aircraft. He's probably going to be crossing my path, though. Although he probably can't see me well from up here. And uh, here I am in turbulent air once again. So, um, bear th oh. I thought we were still in the turn. I forgot that the seatbelt sign was uh, still on. Ah yeah, well. We'll take a uh, heading of 299 degrees. While still following the path as those wings are flexing. While the um, aircraft itself is being, being thrown around by the uh, turbulence over India. But uh, we're nearly out of uh, Indian airspace now. Now we'll be heading towards the. Uh, then we'll be flying over more ocean once again, which will be the. Um, which will be on the road to uh, Dubai by then. Or we should be coming into the Middle East by now. I'm not sure. Let me just check the top, the top down view just to be sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're too far now from the Middle East. I think Dubai is just somewhere. Somewhere around here in this area, I think. Somewhere near the uh, Saudi Arabia area, I think. I'm not sure, but uh, pardon me if I am. Sorry if I got my. Um, sorry if I got that wrong. My um, geography isn't 100% perfect, but uh, it's. Uh, don't know the name of uh, every country now, but. Uh, Probably some countries that I never heard of before, but uh, um, oh well, these things happen. We still got plenty of fuel as well, 75% of fuel. Didn't know exactly how much fuel the um, the freeware version of the A380 takes because um, last time I flew in a freeware aircraft in a freeware A330, I was calculating the fuel. But for some strange reason, though, even though I got the fuel correct, it still ran out of fuel on the approach. Either the I the developer of this of the of the aircraft got the fuel got the fuel um, or got the wrong amount of fuel wrong or or I just put it or the fuel calculator gave me the wrong amount of fuel I don't know and there's one of my uh, friends uh, coming online playing a game called uh, Team Fortress 2 the game that was made by the same people that made Half Life but uh, that's that's something completely different. We're talking about Flight Simulator here, not uh, Team Fortress 2. No offense to any Team Fortress 2 players. So, there's the fire suppression, but we don't need to use those because we don't have an engine fire on board. If we did, the passengers would be absolutely panicking on the aircraft. We're still in a bit of turbulence there, though, but uh, we should be out of it in no time. Alright, so we're now, we've now officially left uh, India behind us, and now we are now flying pretty much nearly along the coastline in the Middle East, I wouldn't say we're flying along the coastline now, but, whoa, that was a big, that was a big bolt of lightning there right below us, it really caught me off guard there for a minute. But anyway, back to the cockpit we go. We did fly a little bit off, but uh, that can be fixed. 
we'll just adjust that uh, heading to, to, to 297. And oh, here comes the turbulence. Throw the seatbelt sign back on. We've had nothing but... The, tell you what, the turbulence has been coming in randomly. And the sign and the speed speeder is just... Um, the, speeding, the speed indicator has just went off of me. So um, I'm going to go throttle back on that engine power. And try keep it steady until we're out of the turbulence and there we are we're back in speed indicator is uh, back to normal again after that after it after it really destroyed itself there for a minute but uh, all is good all is good not a problem or anything Well, despite that small problem with the turbulence, but uh, other than that, though, it's uh, all good. All good. Alright, guys, I just had a look at the outside of the airplane. And, uh, hello, what's this? I can see a bit of sunrise to the north. So, uh, we could get a we could arrive by we could we could arrive in Dubai maybe by early in the day or maybe as the sun maybe as soon as, as the sun is just about peaking over where my aircraft is so it looks like the sun is uh trying to come up now as it as i just had a look at the uh, top down view as well and it's uh, coming over parts of uh, Russia and uh, China. Well, China is just uh, China and Japan have woken up now. So is South Korea, and many of the other uh, Asian countries are yet to uh, wake up as well to the sun. But uh, they will eventually when the uh, sun uh, comes up in a flight simulation. And there's another aircraft uh, flying past, near enough to where the sun is rising. Excuse me. So, so we could get a bit of a sunrise yet, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying we are for definite, but uh, we could get a sunrise. Who knows? We think I should probably um, consider checking my um, GPS, see how we are doing. Okay, we're not far now from uh, Dubai, so um, yeah. Wonder what runway we'll be using coming into Dubai, but uh, we can check that out using my uh, charts by using Adobe Acrobat. We've already left Kuala Lumpur. choice of runway 30 or runway 30 left or right or we could use runway 12 left or right the left or the right runways they're both uh, parallel to each other but uh, we'll see when we uh, get to uh, Dubai I don't know if I'd be close enough to check the weather but uh, I'm gonna go check the um, FSX map and see how best the weather is doing and then I'll come back to you guys then I might or before that I might check or after I check the FSX world weather map then I'll check the Dubai the, not the Dubai map I'll check Active Sky and see whereabouts the what whereabouts the wind is doing. Okay guys I had a look at the FSX world map and uh, it didn't give me much information but I checked the um, active sky and it's heading in 080 at 4 knots so you say the winds are near nearly enough calm but uh, but uh, yeah I suppose um, 080 4 knots so 
I imagine it's pointing pointing in the same direction as runway 12 towards runway 130. So I imagine we could be using either 30 left or 30 right when we get to um, Dubai. I think now would be a good time to probably plan for an approach. First, we should probably consider adjusting the heading. So that way we're um, on point with the navigation. Fuel, fuel is, we still got a load of fuel in, in the tank. Can we dump some? No, it doesn't look like we can't. Unless I've got the, the map controls wrong, but uh, I'll just check the control settings and see if I'm dumping the fuel. Okay, I got my controls wrong. I was pressing control shift D to dump the fuel, when apparently it's just shift D. So let's do that. Okay, I'm pressing shift D, but it's not dumping fuel. Either the a 3 doesn't have a fuel dump option, or something I don't know but either way though ah well doesn't matter we may have to um, fly around in circles or something till the fuel till the fuel tank is empty or something like that even I don't know do we really need to pr plan for an approach I say we can I say we can plan an approach now actually we can wait till we get toward closer to the Middle East or more closer yeah we'll wait till we get more close to land and then we'll decide there where we're going okay but first we need to um, just the heading 292 degrees like so Skies are pretty calm. Frame rate's running just between, just below 100 frames per second. It's running between 90 to 100 frames per second. Ah, ah, cool. Looks like the menu bar is back in full length again. Probably because I, I went from window mode to a uh, full screen mode, and uh, that's probably what fixed it. Anyway, now would be a good time to maybe fix the heading to 294. And then once we um, get to land here, when we start making that left turn at this waypoint here, I'll then come back to you guys then we'll decide and I'll decide then what the approach will be okay I've had a look at charts and I've had a look at the active sky next weather and it looks like that if it's if the wind is heading in zero in zero eight zero degrees I could possibly chance it and go for runway 12 all right I'm gonna chance it just for the just for the pure sake but I'm gonna go chance it and select ILS approach to runway 12 left and uh, checking out our just checking out the uh, GPS Papa Echo Delta o Oscar Victor will be the next waypoint we'll be using after re-rack so um if I say select approach, oh, okay. Would Bovat work? No, that. No, Bovat won't work. So ILS. What about Nombro? Would Nombro work? No, not what I'm after. 
What about Pingo? Pingo is a straight in approach. We're coming in from the we're coming in from the north, so um, I say we could go with Bovat. Bovat, I mean. All right, let's try Bovat. So now the approach has changed. We're going in. I think we should also probably consider starting the, the descent as well. from here on in. Just make sure we're on the correct path. Okay, maybe now we can descend down to uh, about uh, 7,000, 8,000. We'll try 12,000 feet. Try about uh, 12,000 feet. That could work. I'm not saying it will work, but I'm saying it might work. have to make these uh, <coughs> decisions myself. Since, like I said, I don't have an FMC, FFC. Okay, so we just keep going straight ahead. Can't even adjust these uh, radio comms or anything like that, like you can on the default Airbus A321, as well as the other freeware Airbus aircraft. Like uh, Thomas Roots A330. Oh well, I guess this is an aircraft uh, I probably won't be flying on Batsim when I get that little bit more experience at it. I'll fly it maybe. I'll fly it a time offline, just not on the Batsim network, because it's very limited on the radio stack. Anyway, we're just 20 minutes away from uh, Bovet. Alright, we're flying over land now. And uh, looking at my um, GPS, we're 65 nautical miles away from uh, Bovet. Well, we're just over 60 nautical miles away, so I think I could fully descend down to uh, 3,000 feet if I can do so. Oh great, we're over speeding again, so hit the hit that speed brake. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Oh here comes the frame rate drops because land is spawning in, so uh you know what that means. The FPS drops are coming. We're finally arrived. We have finally arrived in Dubai, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. As I will just close my curtains there. Don't want the neighbors looking in. There we go. Alrighty. Now, flying just low over the city, just so we can intercept the localizer for runway one two left. I believe we're landing on this that right. Let's just see. Yeah, it's one two left we're landing on. So as soon as we reach Bovet, actually now I'm gonna take control of the aircraft now, disengage the autopilot. And I'm gonna take full control of this aircraft now. Actually now maybe two forty might be a bit too slow. Let's try two sixty instead. Well, I'm keeping an eye on my uh, altitude indicator. Like so. Don't want to get too low, otherwise I'll crash into the sea. And I, and we, and we don't want to risk destroying a million dollar aircraft. Or in this case, a million euro aircraft. That's why I should be saying, since I'm, since I'm Irish and live in Europe. Alright, we're coming into the... We're just just about intercepting, intercepting the uh, localizer now so we can reset altitude to zero. And then turn off the uh, auto throttle. And 
I'm going to take complete manual control of this aircraft. Flaps 2. Landing gear is down. 2,500 feet. We should have all four green. Alright, landing gear is down and confirmed. Alright, there it is. Runway in sight. Runway in sight. So, we're going to use flaps. We're going to use a full flap. Landing gear is down and check. Okay. There's an aircraft taking off on runway, on the runway parallel to the runway we're on, to the runway we're landing on. That is runway one to right. A triple seven three hundred EOR flying out tonight. There we go. Oh yeah, we should probably turn on the ILS if it will let us use that. Sink rate. Sink rate. Don't sink. Okay, Don't maybe sink. we're coming a bit too fast. Don't sink. Okay, 500. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Four. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Oh, the, uh, sounds like the aircraft has hit the ground. A lot quicker than I expected this one. Oh, I have the altitude set wrong. There we go. Nicely done. And here we are in Dubai. So we'll just uh, exit right off this runway here. And then we'll see now what gates can we use for here in Dubai. Alright, so welcome to Dubai ladies and gentlemen. So we'll stop the aircraft um, here. Okay, we'll bring flaps up. And then we'll stop the aircraft here and decide. Okay, there's no other aircraft on the runways. No other aircraft taking off. So um, let's go in and sauce what gates can we use. We'll try some of the uh, Foxtrot gates. Too small, too small, occupied, occupied, too small, too small. Okay, what about... What about what, any of the uh, Tango gates? Delta. Oh, we could take any of the... We could take the Delta gates. So, uh, Delta gates, that's... Let's see if I can find the Delta gates. Bravo, Foxtrot, Charlie. Oh man, Delta, Delta. Delta. Hmm. Finally a gate that can that's can it's capable of the of the Airbus A380. 
Should we request to follow me? Yeah, because I can't really find the Delta Gates on this uh, on the chart. So um, yeah, we'll take Emirates as our operator because line handle our airline is Emirates itself. So it's best for the ground operator for it to be Emirates. Right, the follow me is on its way now. So uh, we should keep an eye out for it. It should arrive in about uh, three minutes time. So if we just stay where we are, we should be okay. As long as we stay where we are. It'll arrive in, a, in one minute's time. So for now, we'll turn off the uh, landing lights. Keep nose lights on. Turn off runway. Turn off lights. Maybe turn off the uh, nav and logo lights as well. Strobe light can come off as well. Ah, there's the follow me, but uh, it's invisible though. Oh, there it is now. There it is. <laughs> Couldn't see it coming in range there for a minute. The follow me has arrived. All right, the cavalry has arrived. So, take me to my gate when when you're ready. Follow me, but first, but well, I don't. But first, let that aircraft go first because. I don't want to cause a I don't want to cause a runway collision in B Tenerife part part two. Thank you very much. There's the uh, ground marshalers working on the um, working on the uh, gates. Where's the marshaler? He should be here by now. Okay, we are literally stopped in the middle. Ah, this is must be Delta Six. All right, keep going, 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 and stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa I didn't want the, I didn't need, I didn't want the reverse engines. All right, we are now. We've officially arrived. in in Dubai so we can now safely shut down all of the engines turn on the uh, APU and run through some uh, checks run through the uh, shutdown checklist and we can bring in a jetway as well now all right, trying to figure out what all these doors open. Anyway, the cargo's unloading now, so uh, I'll just leave this video here. So uh, thank you for. Uh, thank you. So I thank you for um, joining me on this flight from uh, Sepang Airport in Malaysia to Dubai in this Freeware Airbus A380. And uh, join me next time when we will be doing more flights with the PMDG Triple Seven since it's becoming my uh, favorite aircraft lately. I thought I should probably do more flights with the 777. But in the meantime, this is Captain Brereton signing off. Have a good one.